Mate in three. All right, where's their king? Where's their king? Oh, here it is. Here's my king. I've got a gold and a gold and a knight and a pawn and a pawn and a pawn. I control this. I control this and this. Yeah, I shouldn't be drawing on the board, except I am tired and I feel like drawing on the board. So I'm going to draw on the board all these beautiful, beautiful circles. Um, so, so many beautiful circles. So many unnecessary beautiful circles. Alright, so... Yes, if I were this king and trying to plot an escape course, yeah, there's no escape. I'd have to be taking my own pawns or something. Circles haven't really helped at all. Um, other than that, like, this is not uh, protected. But otherwise, it's kind of hard for this king to move about. So, with a knight and a gold and a gold and a pawn and a pawn and a pawn, that takes more than three turns to place them all. So, <laughs> yeah, you wonder, can you use all the pieces? Well, if you start stacking them, maybe. Oh, I missed that. There's this uh, rook on 2-9 just hanging out. This is probably why it's such a high-rated problem for uh, something that's a mate in three. Like, probably some players don't think or don't notice that this is uh, the opponent's rook. Because you wouldn't expect that to be here, especially with your king right over here. So, what am I doing? Can't place a knight to check. It's kind of out of the question. Wait. So if I placed a gold, and if the rook took, and even if the rook promoted, rook, uh, gold drop here is mate. If I placed a gold, the other option is that the king takes the gold general. And then there's really not a whole lot happening anymore. I don't see any checkmate after that, so... I think we could rule out gold drop 2-5, unless I can see a checkmate that I missed somehow, but... Don't look like that's the case. Wait, is it really this straightforward that we just go here and there? Is that it? And the trick is that if you have to recognize that there's this bishop over here and a rook over here, and as long as we don't accidentally throw away of any of our pieces, we checkmate. Huh. Or we could just, like, drop a knight here to mate. That could work, too. Wow. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic, but hey, at least we did a puzzle today. Um, no, the knight he drop here blocks the pawn's defense, so yeah, we have to do this. Silly me. I bet I some players probably did the knight drop. Anyway, this is check, and then this is checkmate. All right, we got our problem done for the day. Let's go watch some Lee Shogi TV. All right, let's watch some Blitz. It's anonymous. Who's playing the bot? Nobody's playing the bot. Engine level two, nobody's playing Ultra Bullet. Although apparently some player enjoys playing a lot of Ultra Bullet, I guess. Um, classical engine level one. Oh, here's Yobi Shogi again. Yeah, this could be interesting. Oh, so this we might observe this, and then once this concludes or breaks, we might take a break because it's good to take a break once in a while. But yeah, I guess i um, doing my part to try to fix the category name. 
Uh, again, I'm not sure if that's the right description or if we want a different description. But um, maybe I need to like invent a pony piece and somehow like make the center of the board a canyon. And when you get across the canyon, then you promote. Maybe that's a way to make this work. I don't know. I have to give that some thought. So we have a central foul rook versus a central pawn advance. Um, yeah, I'm curious what Gota has in mind here. This is a bit unusual. Yeah. Yeah, well, I do hope so. At least my intentions seem right. <laughs> uh, I remember forever ago coming up with, or rather, asking for a description. I'd search... Where did I get this from? But somehow we got that uh, Shogi was a game similar to chess, or uh, I don't remember how we expressed it, but it's kind of a weird description somehow. And uh, I'd asked other players to please let me know, is there something we could do better than this, or whatever, and other players seem to agree with it. And then months later, we're coming back and looking at what we agreed to, and we're like, hey, actually, we could probably do better. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Shogi's a lot like Scrabble. No. <laughs> See, there's these pieces, and they're two-dimensional, and you place them on the board, and sometimes they spell out words. There we go. Mission accomplished. Uh, at least it wouldn't make mention of ponies or canyons. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's only a finite number of kanji that appear on the pieces themselves, um, whether using the one kanji or two kanji sets. There's only so many things you could potentially spell or hint at. Looks like Yobishogi uh, seems to be beating a 1500. Um, it's not his fault that like these are the opponents who are available. But yeah, it looks like uh, he was able to place the bishop and then retreat it. And... I'm not seeing any favorable place for the opponent to place a bishop and start it. Uh-oh. Uh, there... I hope there's a... I hope the players don't suffer very long here. Um... I guess I might go back and do one more tactic then. Because... However this ends, I think I'll be more interested in solving the puzzle than watching that end. Uh, yeah, seeing this mistake reminds me of my own games, um, but also reminds me I should be practicing more and criticizing less. So, checkmate in nine or more. Oh boy. Well, we got all these pawns here, so we just need to take all the pawns and then we'll be fine, right? Uh, we got a knight, a silver, another silver, and a bishop. Well, the knight cannot check on the first turn, so it's some drop here. King, or I'm sorry, it's either a drop here or we take this other silver and somehow rely on this pawn supporting our attack. Um, well, yeah, and it looks like, God, goodness. So I can't rule anything out just yet because I don't know my checkmates, but... One, two, three are the squares I could select. Um, 
I'm going to see, can I rule out 9-2? If I drop on 9-2, king takes 9-2, probably, but not necessarily. And then knight drop, and pawn takes knight, and the king escapes. No? We still have a bishop. The king doesn't necessarily escape, but we don't have very many pieces left after that. So yeah, I think dropping a 9-2 we can not necessarily, but probably rule out. Uh, taking an 8-1 seems like a waste. But... Other moves look... I don't know. I'm trying to think this through. So I'm ruling out 9-2 for now, because this is too close to the edge and really difficult to smoke the king out so that we could use the bishop. Um, if we use the bishop too early, the king escapes almost all the time without much difficulty. So I'm thinking we drop one of our pieces, the king takes... Um, and then we drop a knight, and if the king were to take the rook, uh, probably we have a swift checkmate there somehow. Again, depending where we drop the knight. Oh, actually, no. We would not drop it on 9-4, because pawn takes 9-4, gives the king an escape hatch, and even a bishop can't plug that. So, drop on 8-2... King takes a2, knight 7-4, pawn takes. Oh, I missed. We have a lot of pieces left. We could place a silver, hang our rook, and then drop the bishop on 5-3, and then mate with bishop on 6-2. Because we have so many pieces. That's interesting. That's a lot of pieces. Then I'll... Throughout this entire combination, this silver on 8-1 never gets taken. Alright, so backing up. Silver drop 8-2. King takes. Knight 7-4. King runs. And I guess we drop a silver or something. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, what if the king runs to 9-2? Then rook takes 8-1. Silver drop 8-2. And... Bishop drop 8-1 mates. Okay, yeah. It looks almost certainly like uh, silver drop 8-2 is our move. Because we're going to need the bishop at the end of the combination. Uh, let's give it a shot. Because I'm feeling a bit impatient right now. But also I think I'm right. And then we check here. And if the king were to take... Um, we have a checkmate over here somewhere. Oh, bishop drop here, and then bishop promotes mates. So the king runs away instead of pawn takes. If pawn takes, we would drop a silver here. So, yeah, the king has to run away. But as I stated here, we take this, and then silver drop 8-2, and something drop 8-1 mate. Unless there's... No, we can't drop anything more directly. This is the only move. Curious that this variation got selected by the engine. Or the puzzle generator. But no, I think we drop this here. We don't have a lot of choice. Mate in 7. Oh, this is why it got selected. Because the mate is very distant. Um... So, A, B. I was thinking it was A, and then I looked at King 7, 2, and I had second thoughts. Because I can't prevent King 6, 3 from happening next. Well, no, I could prevent it. I'd have to drop the bishop all the way back here, but the king starts run... Well, hang on. Yeah. Uh, the king runs here, bishop back there, the king runs here. Uh, I don't think we could pursue the king far enough. I think we have to start with bishop 6-3. They could block with whatever pieces they have left, and we start use our two silvers to mate. Yeah, and that does count up to 7, so... 
I think the fact that it tells me the number moves until checkmate might be too much of a hint. But this seems to be quite popular to tell the player how many moves there are left. Um, interesting. Well, we solved another problem today. That takes our rating up to 2417. That's not bad. Uh, are there other games to watch here, or shall we wrap up? Oh, there's still this game in progress. The same one where the bishop had been sacrificed. And, yeah, I don't think the bishop's going to... Well, we have a bishop back in hand. What happened? This is the same game? How did this... What happened? What in the world? Okay, so we have a sacrifice. No, that's not, that's not even a sacrifice. This is just taking a rook. Yobi Shogi's getting excited taking pieces. He, <laughs> I don't think I would have taken the rook here because um, this bishop in hand really didn't need to be given. On the other hand, it looks like... Um, uh, Senta's clearly in control anyway. So they might not care so much right now about this bishop in hand. Because um, they do cover most of the squares the bishop could be dropped on. At least right now they cover them. But potentially you could be talking about pawn drop here, bishop drop there sort of thing. I don't know. So, um, Another, um, well, they keep exchanging pieces. But, yeah, what's uh, Gota going to do with two bishops that they can't already do with one? Uh, oh, they don't even take it. All right, are they going to take the dragon? Nope. All right. Yeah, it looks like Yobi Shogi's done playing with his food here. Um... Should we take a look at this? Yeah. Okay, so this did keep the same browser tab, even though I, it appeared not to for an instant. Oh yeah, I was starting to wonder. Did I miss something? Well, almost certainly, but... Um, okay, if we had taken, I guess there must be a gold drop mate here. That's... Because this is actually defended. I missed this. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, yeah. LeeShogi.org, pretty cool site. Um, a lot of strong players show up from time to time. There's a community and forums and such, so feel free to take a look. Try to enjoy it. If timed games aren't your thing, I've never really played the correspondence site or side of the, of the website. Um, but it could be a thing worth trying. Uh, if you have a friend you want to play, you don't necessarily want to make an account or something. You could just challenge a friend directly. Um, apparently there are 102 players logged in. That's either that or there's just 102 simultaneous connections. But either way, that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, the main developer of the site has done tremendous work on the code base, cleaning things up making it ready to develop new features. Um, uh, so at some point I might be crazy enough to try to implement something new, but uh, at present my development resources are a bit overwhelmed, so I don't think I'm coding 
uh, free time projects, at least not large scale free time projects. Um, but yeah, maybe come Christmas or something, maybe I'll focus again on trying to improve some features of the site. I know there's one that we all want or desire, but I don't know if I have the ability to deliver it, so I shouldn't promise anything just yet. Um, but yeah, cool site, cool people. Uh, hope you do enjoy this all. Um, yeah, I'm taking a break now, so hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.